subscribe, share, tap the notifications bell, and leave a comment. Recall that the domain and range of the original function is simply interchanged to know the domain and range of the inverse function. The domain of f of x is the range of the inverse of f of x, and the range of f of x is the domain of the inverse of f of x. Example 1. Given a table of f of x below, find the domain and range of f inverse. The domain of f inverse is the set of y values of f of x from the table. Remember, y becomes x in the inverse. So, it is the set of numbers 3, 5, 7, 9, 11. In the same way, the range of the inverse is the set of x values from the table. Therefore, the range of f inverse is the set of numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Example 2. Find the domain and range of the inverse function of f of x equals negative 2x plus 1. Consider the domain and range of this original function first. x may take any value, negative, zero, positive, fractions, whole numbers. Thus, the domain is the set of real numbers. This domain will be the range of the inverse. y may take any value as well when we substitute any number to x. So, the range of the original function is the set of real numbers also. This range will be the domain of the inverse function. Hence, both the domain and range of the inverse are the set of real numbers. That is, the domain is x such that x is an element of real numbers and the range is y, set of y, where y is an element of real numbers. Example 3. Find the domain and range of the inverse of g of x equals negative square root of 3x. This is the given function, g of x equals negative square root of 3x. Recall that if the index is an even number, the radicand can only be positive or zero. In this case, the index is 2. Therefore, the radicand 3x can only be positive or zero. That is, 3x should be greater than or equal to zero. By dividing both sides by 3 or by multiplying both sides by one third, we will get x is greater than or equal to 0. Therefore, the domain of g of x is set of x where x is greater than or equal to 0 and x is an element of real numbers, which is the range of its inverse. Meanwhile, since this is a negative number and this factor can only be positive or zero, if this is positive, positive times negative, y is negative. If this is zero, then y is zero. Therefore, the range of the original function is set of y where y is less than or equal to 0 and y is an element of real numbers, which is the domain of its inverse. Therefore, the domain of the inverse is x such that x is less than or equal to 0 and x is an element of real numbers, and the range is y such that y is greater than or equal to 0 and y is an element of real numbers. You have just learned how to find the domain and range of an inverse function.